I'm Ty Quinones. Right now on your 13 Action News update, you wanted answers, and now we know why the emergency exit doors at Ross would not open when someone started shooting inside that store. Well, Clark County Fire says the emergency doors remain locked until a fire alarm or the sprinklers are activated. Well, after an inspection, they say those doors, they are fine. They are operating as designed. Well, police say loss prevention employee Mohammed Mahmoud fired shots inside and also outside of that store right near Blue Diamond in Valley View on Saturday. After apparently getting upset about a shopping cart policy, no one was hit by those bullets. Off-duty officers shot and arrested Mahmoud. Well, an update now on the alleged attempted luring that happened at Richard Bryan Elementary School. Police now saying that there was no criminal intent. Metro talked to the man who offered those three kids a ride, and he told police that he was going home after dropping off his own child at the school and then overheard those kids say that they were going to be late, then offer them a ride. Well, those students refused to get in that car with a stranger, and instead they called their parents. 13 first alert weather, some busy weather early in the week, I'll tell you that, and uh, it's going to get even busier for your Thursday. So far, overnight lows, we're talking about 84 degrees at 5 a.m., uh, 89, so practically to 90 at 9 a.m. That's a slightly cooler day than you're accustomed to, I'm sure. We're usually 100 by noontime, but we'll be 96, ending off the day about 98. Picking up some big storms that could lead to flooding and some very strong wind as well, so be on the lookout for changing weather conditions. Brian, thank you. We're coming up tonight on 13 Action News Live at 11. In tonight's Dirty Dining, imminent health hazard closures across the valley. We begin at a sushi restaurant that got a C but was then shut down the next day when it failed reinspection. We've got cockroach infestation closures inside a daycare center kitchen and a repeat offender food truck making its sixth appearance on Dirty Dining. We even hit the Las Vegas Strip. Join me for a heaping helping on Action News at 11. All right, remember, you can always get the very latest news at KTNV.com, our mobile app, Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV. Well, thank you so much for making 13 Action News part of your day.